Hey, what is going on guys? Cisco here and in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to add in a phone number field to my opt-in form using the Elementor Pro plugin. Also, I'm going to be using a free plugin called Start Clar Elementor Add-ons and I'm going to integrate this with my get response um auto responder with my email list. Okay, so now the first thing that you want to do is here in the back end of your WordPress website, you want to go ahead and go to plugins. Okay, so I'm going to go to plugins and I'm going to add a new plugin and it's going to be this one here, the Start Clar Elementor add ons. And what this plugin pretty much does is it allows you to add the phone country code to your uh, form field. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what that is real quick. All right, and that's the little drop box that you're gonna see and you're able to select what country um, what country phone number you're gonna be putting in, right? So for instance, if you're gonna be putting in a uh, United States phone number or uh, a phone number from Germany, then it's gonna show you that country code, all right? So, all right, now that we, um, now that we know that, like I said, you're gonna go here and you're gonna search up Start Clar, um, and it's this one here. Start Clar Elementor Add-ons. Now, as you can see, I've already added it and I've activated it. You want to go ahead, add this, and activate it. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to edit. So I'm going to be adding my uh, form field right in this page right here. So I'm going to go ahead and edit with Elementor. Okay, now once this loads up, now what I want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and search for my form widget and I'm going to drag that and place it where I want it. Okay, so there we go. Now, as you can see, we have um, a few extra, a few, actually we have this message field that I'm going to get rid of. So this is going to leave right now. I don't want to show labels. So for the sake of the video, I'm actually going to get rid, rid of the name field as well. Just going to leave the email. And now I'm going to go ahead and add item. And this is the this is the cool part right here. OK, this is where you're going to be adding in or where you're see, you're going to see the the uh, plugin that we just added is going to come to live. So now we have here our item number two okay so this is going to be where our country code is going to go now for that you want to go here to where it says type click on this drop down and we're going to go search down to where it says phone number prefix now again you're only going to be able to see this if you are using this plugin so i'm going to go ahead and select phone number prefix okay and also the column width i want to go ahead and make this 30. All right. So now, as you can see, it has this little triangle here. So when you click on it, it's going to show you all the um, country codes. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Now, the next field that I want to go ahead and add. OK, so we have this one ready. The next one is going to be our where our phone number is going to go, actually. So for that, again, where it says type, you're going to click the drop down and you're going to select this one telephone or tell T E L. OK, and we're going to make the column width. Um, we're going to make it 70 because it's actually going to align with our uh, country code. OK, so there we have it right there. This is our form. It's looking pretty good. Now, the next thing that I want to go and do now, you can customize this form however you want. You can go to style. Obviously, you can customize this, you know, if you want to make the edges rounder or, you know, whatever you want to do, you can go ahead and do it. I'm not, for the sake of the video, going to really go into customizing it. So for the um, for the next step that we want to go ahead and do is actually go to go to actions after submit. And here we're actually going to add in our autoresponder, which is get response. OK, so I'm going to click on the plus sign, look for get response and select that. OK, so now we are we are rolling. Now, the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do here is collect submissions. Leave that alone. Uh, email, you know, if you want to change the email where you're going to be receiving the notifications, you can go ahead and change it. Um, now, the next thing I want to do is click on the as you can as you notice, now we have this get response um, tab here. So I'm going to click on it and 
I've actually added my API key um, to the, the back end of WordPress. So I'm going to leave it as default. And I'm just going to go here to where it says list and I'm going to click the drop down. Now it's going to give me the list that I have already created in get response. And I'm going to just select this one opt in page, this list right here, day of cycle. So they're going to immediately receive the email, uh, their welcome email on the, the as soon as they opt in. Okay. And this is where the tricky part comes in guys. So this right here in the field mapping. So as you can see here, we have um, our field mapping. Now we have the email here, which we are going to pretty much just um, leave it like that email. Okay. That's going to be the first one. And now we're going to be uh, mapping or actually just um, these two pairing them up over here. So the uh, country code, this one here, which is field number two, if you guys remember, item number two, actually. So I'm going to go back here to get response. This one is going to go tied with postal code. Okay, so I'm going to click the drop down, select field number two. That is going to be for our country code. So make sure you select postal code. And now for the next one, which if you remember is uh, field number three, telephone. This one we are going to pair with ref. Okay, R-E-F right here. And we're going to go ahead and select field number three. All right, so we have all of our uh, field mapping done. We're going to go ahead and click on update, but we're still not done yet. Uh, what you want to do now is we actually want to go here to our autoresponder. So in this case, get response. And what I want to do is actually here on the top part. So if you um, select the tab contacts, you can select here custom field or custom fields. And I'm going to create a custom field. So this one is going to be phone, phone and um phone number okay and now it says what type of information do you need now you would think that you would select phone or number but you select text okay text and you select this one here line of text all right make sure you select both of these and we're going to click on save okay so now we are good to go our wordpress site or our actually our element or form has been connected with our autoresponder in this case get response so now the next thing i want to do is i actually want to go ahead and make sure that this is working so i'm going to go ahead preview changes as you can see we have here our opt-in form i'm going to go ahead and put in a um an email so i've used this email i've used it a lot so i'm going to go ahead and just say p solved 91 at gmail.com Okay, at gmail.com and now for the fun part we're going to go ahead and select the drop down here i'm going to say united states okay i'm going to be putting in a united states phone number so click on united states and now i want to add in my number so i'm going to go ahead and say um area code 732 and i don't know what happened here so area code okay 732 five two five six four eight seven okay this is going to be the number i'm going to be adding click on send and give it a minute boom the form was sent successfully okay that's what you want to make sure you are getting and now if we go back here to our get response i'm going to go to list all right and we're going to go to uh, the all-in-one 25 dollar biz opt-in page which is the list that i use Okay, and I'm going to say show contacts. All right, boom. As you can see, we have here the email that we just used. PSOF91 at gmail.com. And here we have our phone number that we just added along with the country code. Okay, so there you have it, guys. That's how you can integrate. That's how you can add a phone field to your Elementor Pro. Um, and integrate it with your get response. So I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you smash the like button. Also consider subscribing and make sure to hit that notification bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. All right, with that said, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.